Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're gonna have Marlo versus Rymark on Frozen Planet. And this map we normally see a decent amount of spiders and cloaky bots, but we'll see what players go over this time. Marlo going for a cloaky bot factory in the southeast side of the map. Well, Rymark at the northwest side of the map is going for Amphib. Like I said, spiders and cloaky are common here, but Amphib? Gunships you occasionally see as a bit of an alternate factory, but not amphibious, so we'll see how that goes. And there it is, the Amphib factory is building up well, a couple ducks. Four ducks, looks like Rymark's gonna go for some early raiding with that. Now ducks, as I pointed out last time, do have a bit of changes from last few times I've had Amphib. Their HP is reduced down to 340, but and their damage to 230. They used to have like 400, 400, like 400 damage and 400 health, which meant they tended to kill each other accidentally. But that has been changed. I'm not sure friendly fire has been turned off, but they've definitely not been set up to kill each other. They also can't one-shot metal extractors as they used to, but at least they aren't going to be killing each other in the process. So Ramark sending his ducks over to the north, while Marlow sending a bunch of glaives over to the south. Marlow set up. About seven glaives or seven or eight glaives going heavily on the attack. On this map, not a big surprise, but still a little bit unusual. And his glaives are about to hit Rymark's base. Rymark is same time gonna be getting rid of this glaive to the north. And in Rymark's base, we do have Duck is taking a fair amount of damage. It and also Lotus hitting the Amphit plant, helping out the glaives with damaging Amphit plant. That Lotus is not on Rymark's side. But that glaive is about to go down, so ultimately no big deal. However, that Amphib plant took a lot of damage. Now, Rymark has his ducks over to the north. He's about to attack, going south from the northeast side of the map, and from there he will be able to deal... Should be able to deal a decent amount of damage. Three ducks coming in. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be a matter of how many glaives there are and how quickly they're coming up, because glaives do fairly well against ducks. The cost actually isn't too far off, so... Losing a duck to a couple glaives isn't a big deal, but still... Rather not do so, and the fact that ducks have very low re or very high reload time means that's gonna be tricky to get rid of all the glaives. Going for the commander now. These ducks are dealing with the commander okay, but not great. One, another glaive comes in, but the ducks. I think gonna go for the factory. They go for the commander. No, two more glaives come in, and one of the ducks goes down. Another duck goes down, and the last duck will be able to retreat. Well, it gets rid of the glaive, but it's hard to tell whether it'll retreat. It looks like it is. It will successfully retreat. Those glaives do get one-shotted by the ducks, and five more ducks coming in in Rymark's base. So that is a pretty big jump. With those five ducks, Rymark should be able to just rip apart everything that Marlow has. Now, is Rymark going to be... Well, he's attacking from the south this time, not attacking from the north as he did last time. He has one duck over to the north in case the glaives come at him, but... Ultimately, he's attacking from the south, and Marlow not really well defended to the south. To point out... He does have these metal extractors, but no defense turrets around them. While Rymark does have a Lotus in his base, in case, and defenders along the north ridge. Although Rymark not committing to an attack, surprisingly enough. He has more than enough firepower to probably deal with the factory. Certainly more than enough to deal with pretty much anything that Marlo is going to throw at the moment. But no, he is not attacking directly. In fact, he is setting up a few more conches and some ducks. And switching over to Grizzly. I, Rymark, this is... It's not going to be five minutes into the game when you start building that grizzly. Are are, are you okay? Like, that, you you do realize that's 2,000 metal, right? It's certainly going to be interesting. If you manage to pull that off, that'll be powerful, but it's a lot of metal to be spent into one unit. Especially when the ducks are not going for harassment. Right now, Rymark is actually slightly behind. Marlow does have, mostly thanks to Reclaim, a bit of extra economy, but Rymark, he's floating metal right now, and he's... Wait, he's not... Oh, he's out of energy. That's the problem. Building some more power plants. Along with a Lotus. That Lotus really could be... Skipped for now. He could just space click one of those power plants. Get the Lotus in later. He needs power immediately. Right now, Marlow is expanding pretty heavily. No defenses, but still expansion. And the Ducks being used entirely for defense. I guess Rymark's probably going to attack with the Ducks once the Lotuses are done and he's confident his base will last on its own. But he should probably attack now, honestly. Marlo's just going to keep building up more and more glaives, and the more glaives there are, the harder it is for the ducks to deal with him. A tick is in place as well. So if Rymar comes in at the wrong angle, he could lose all of his ducks right at once. Or 
have heavy damage on the Grizzly. The Grizzly is 9,000 health, so the Ticks won't be able to take it out in one go. But so, how many ducks does this guy have? Like, he has nine ducks, well, ninth in production. Nine ducks on the field so far. I am very surprised at this. Shmart Rymark does have now a bit of reclaim going in. He does have a decent amount of metal. He's got about five metal extractors. And it looks like he has a bit of re yeah, he's getting some reclaim too off the glaives that attacked earlier. Marlow has used up the reclaim from the ducks, but about even. Both players are about even for economy. Rymark's using it a bit less. Marlow does have he has a conjurer at the main base, helping with the factory. Rymark does not surprisingly have a conch helping out with the amphid plant. Very surprising, being that he's building a grizzly. That is going to take about three minutes. And he's going for an attack with a few ducks. A small strike force of ducks, not all of his ducks, being very defensive with them. Which is, given the fact that he has nine ducks right here, he has a total of nearly a dozen ducks. He can just attack directly and probably wipe out Marlowe's base completely. Now the Rockers are getting up, that's going to be a bit harder, but just against the Glaives? Like, one-to-one -one ducks to Glaives, he's probably going to win. He might lose a couple ducks if he doesn't micro them properly, but like, they fire all fire at one Glaive. But if that doesn't happen, he's going to be in great shape. However, he's far more concerned about getting this Grizzly up. About two and a half minutes left. And a Caretaker has been built up, so Rymark does have that set up. That will help out the Grizzly. Dropping the build time slightly. He needs to get a bit more metal economy. He's continuing to build defenders in the North Ridge. Rymark is over-defending. I've got to be honest, he is getting way too defensive here. He's hoping for the Grizzly to allow him to push out with the Ducks. But frankly, the Ducks would be able to do just fine pushing out, or would have. It's getting harder and harder by the moment as Marlow gets more and more units. Surprisingly, not taking the North Metal Extractors. I don't know why Marlow isn't doing that. Rymark's taking the equivalent on his side, on the South side. And a bunch of Glaives do go down. Quite a lot of Glaives go down to some Ducks. Fortunately, some Rockos are... Well, unfortunately for Rymark, some Rockos are there. The Ducks, however, able to take out the Rock... Well... Well, it takes three shots to take out a Rocco for a Duck, so actually not that easy. And the South West Metal Extractors have been removed from Rymark's possession. However, so is the Rocco. That's gone down. And like I said, the ducks can still hit each other. Okay, so friend friendly fire remains unfriendly. However, these Roccos are going to go down. It looks like Rymark realizes he actually has quite a lot of firepower. He can push forward to deal with Marlow's forces. Now that tick is over to the northeast. He was expect Marlow's expecting Rymark to come into the north, not to come in from the center. But that's exactly what Rymark is doing. Taking out more and more of Marlow's forces and this is definitely a situation where the cost per unit is not really that valid of a measure. I mean, the Rockers are doing a pretty good job against the Ducks, but the Ducks, they get over this cliff. They're going to be fine, but it looks like they will not... No, this one actually is full health. Yeah, it looks like... Well, okay. <laughs> the one behind was a little bit unlucky. For one in front dodged, the one in the back took the brunt, but... I'm sure this Duck here was laughing its butt off when it saw that happen. Yeah, I'm sure Ducks are cruel like that. Actually, Ducks are cruel like that. Ducks are horrible creatures. They're horrible people. I mean, they're probably pretty good ducks, but they're horrible people. Anyway, Grizzly are... Grizzly's done. Rymark not moving out with it, though. He does have that up. And it would be of some use. Basically a penetrator on legs. Well, more powerful penetrator. It's about one and a half times as strong. Still kind of tricky, though. That's the thing with Rymark. His forces are very high alpha. Doesn't have a lot of easy ways of dealing with small raiders that being said, Marlow not building a lot of those. He's building a lot of rockers to deal with the ducks. And ducks are being built in response, surprisingly enough. And another grizzly. I'm a bit surprised there aren't any... Well, boys would be okay, I guess. Scallops would probably be able to get in. Yeah, Scallops would just be able to walk in, waltz up to the rockers and deal with them. However, the grizzly is still there. That's, dumb. That's still something. And nothing else can at least tank the damage from the rockers. While tearing them to shreds with its giant lasers. I suppose one should never underestimate the power of giant lasers. That's rarely ends well, but however, one should also never underestimate the power of electromagnetic pulses on, on electronics. But that being said, there were enough ducks to be able to survive the Faraday, and that tick's still over in the northeast. Marlowe should be moving that south. He's been attacked from the center twice so far. The ducks have a lot to contend with to get through, but even with that, the tick is not in the way. It's giving them a lot of fire or a lot of leeway with their firepower. And another Grizzly is coming up. That's going to take only about a minute to be built up this time around. Ramark has 20 metal in. And the Grizzly's trying to go up the hill. They will be successful in time. But 
instead going through the valley, not bothering up the hill, which might be a bad idea, but hey, you know what? Get rid of the Rockos, why not? The Grizzlies continuing along, getting rid of at least one Rocco per shot, and the Commander actually getting dangerously close to that Grizzly. However, the Grizzly far more focused on the Rockos, which is not a bad idea. He wants to get the Rockos off the Ducks' tails, and the Ducks doing a decent job taking care of the Commander. Commander starts to decide to slide on the ground, and a tick goes off, mostly dealing with Mars forces, not dealing with Rymark's. Rymark's forces were already dead by the time a tick went off. Not the best use of a tick. I mean, it wasn't a terrible placement, being what happened the first time, but after that last attack, probably should have moved it to the center, or built another tick and had it in the center. Speaking of which, another tick is being built up. Probably going to be used to try to deal with a Grizzly, and the second Grizzly is about three seconds away from being done. No ducks in the meantime. There are no ducks at present. And the Grizzly actually taking a fair amount of damage. Still getting rid of one rock over shot and actually has made cost. So that's one thing. It has at least made cost. And another Rocco about to go down to a duck and Grizzly pair. That Grizzly looks like it's going back home to be repaired itself. Get a conch up or get a caretaker. Get a caretaker on the front lines. That'd be a good idea. Rymark should do that. Get a caretaker on the front lines. That would allow him to repair the Grizzlies without having to retreat them too far back. Give them a bit more flexibility in dealing with this, and... Now well, this duck, if it's clever enough, it is being micro pretty well. This is where Rymark is paying attention, and... That dodge is going to be able to do it for him. That... Nice duck. Nice dodging with the ducks there. However, that is going to be... That's going to be it for that duck. Does die, takes out a Rocco, but not enough. However, the Rocco is slightly more expensive, so it is worth the cost if a duck takes out a Rocco. There is that. Anyway... Grizzly coming along the center, and the sec the first Grizzly is being repaired by the Caretaker at home. No further units being produced. That's a bad thing. More ducks, or possibly scallops and buoys. That should be done. But that is not being done. The Grizzly in a terrible spot, actually, in terms of its line of sight. It should be able to deal with the Rockos now, given the angle. But there it goes. Gets rid of a few Rockos right off. And the Ducks able to continue dealing with the Rockos as the Grizzly fires up yet another shot, and more Rockos go down. However, nicely placed tick this time around. Four ducks being stunned out, two of them getting killed immediately. Three of them going down ultimately before the glaive drops to kill it. And the commander has... It's a hammer commander. Has plasma artillery on the assault cannon, so it's basically a hammer. Level 3 commander for Marla. Rather surprising. Should point out that Rymark has not upgraded his commander. Oh no, he has. Never mind. He has upgraded it with a Nano Lathe, and upgraded it twice to support comps, so it's 19 build power. That's all it does. High build power. The Grizzly, once again, tanking very nicely for the Ducks. However, not nicely enough. We'll be able to move into position to get rid of that Lotus. Just about in position to get rid of these Rockos. It's becoming difficult for Marlow to deal with this. However, he's... Oh, that was a bad targeting. These Rockos need to go down immediately, and that Grizzly will be able to take care of two of them, but not enough. It's going to go down before it fires off another volley. Why is that Grizzly up front? Down it goes! Hits Marlow's commander before dying. That's 800 metal as a gift. I am sure that Marlow appreciates the gift. Though admittedly, he lost a lot to get that, but still, that is in his territory. But a second Grizzly is up and has a clear shot to the commander. Will be taking it very soon as well since the Rock was moving south. The commander, one more shot from the Grizzly will kill it, but it should be focusing on the Rockos. That is a much easier way of reducing the damage being dealt to it. The Ducks going along the south side should be flanking the Rockos. If they flank the Rocco, that will finish it off. And more Ducks. Wow, okay. There we go. Fifteen Ducks. Along the bottom. That Grizzly still taking a lot of damage. It's going to die in Rymark's territory if it dies at all. And fortunately, a tick by Marlow goes off. Stops his forces from attacking, and now the ducks move in one at a time, but still able to get rid of Marlow's commander. It will go down in just one more volley from the looks of it. However, so do all of the ducks. That's a lot of metal being used for his commander, but still, that's like how much metal is in here? That's, oh, I need a I need a worker. Where is a worker? I need a worker to figure out how much metal is here. Rather unfortunate. Okay, use this. There is currently about four thousand metal in Marlowe's territory right now. Inclu mostly his commander, but still. Commander and the Grizzly being the bulk of that. And Rymark's commander moving a bit too far forward. He has expanded along the north side and has a massive defender line. 
A little bit annoying for Marlo to take care of, but Marlo looks like he's attacking along the south side instead, building some defenders of his own, but they are going to go down too quickly for it to matter. Rymark well ahead. It looked like, yes, he was building another Grizzly. So first Grizzly is being repaired, and another Grizzly, or second Grizzly rather, the first Grizzly died. But yeah, we have a third Grizzly coming up. And about a dozen Rockos. Well, 16 Rockos coming in and very, very quickly getting pushed further. This character probably should be going to help out the factory, though. But that being said, the Grizzly is still going to be able to take care of the Rockos with duck support. This is going to go very well for Rymark. All these Rockos dying in his territory, and the Ticks helping out with the Ducks, but once again, dealing with the Rockos far harsher than they dealt with the Grizzly. And with two Grizzlies here, that, that Rocco set goes down with one casualty. One Duck goes down. That's about it. More defenders being built in the southwest for Marlow, but that's not going to help out too much. And Rymar continues to defend along, along the center ridge. That's a long line of defenders, but it's not really going to matter at this point. All the attacks are going through the center, so at this point the north side is locked off. Rymar can basically take it at will. And the southwest side, Marlow is trying to take using the defender, which is inconvenient for sure. But frankly, is not that big of a deal. As Rymark does go through the Grizzly, once again, getting his Grizzly down the center of the map. Dealing with more and more Rockos. Marlow continues to rebuild his Rockos. He's rebuilt about half the Rockos he had before. And this Grizzly is not in a prime position for dealing with the Rockos, but... It can still deal with a few of them every shot. One or two every shot. That's still quite a lot. And the Ducks taking advantage of the Rockos being distracted. That's the real story. The Ducks going along the south side of the map. Taking care of the metal extractors. The Rockos are distracted by the Grizzly getting ripped to shreds, although the ducks surprisingly not going up the... Why aren't they going up the mountain? Come on, go up the mountain, take out the back. That's what you need to do. The Rockos are distracted. Don't attack directly. Or, or is he trying to? It looks like he's trying to, and he... There is a bit of trouble, but he... Oh, actually, I guess ducks can't get around the mountain. I guess it's just clo it's spiders, apparently, that can do that. Okay, never mind. So that won't work. These ducks not being controlled right now. They are... Okay, there we go. Rymark has started to pay attention to them. Getting them off the mountain, trying to get them around the mountain on the other side. Where they can pass. And there they go, round the back. The Grizzly has gone down once again. Yeah, has another Grizzly that's down. But that's in Rymark's territory. Rymark can take it. He can reclaim it. Doesn't matter though, Marlow is losing a lot of his economy. Most of his economy, actually. I think all of his economy is going down right now. Thanks to these ducks. And Marlow doesn't even GG, just surrenders. And that is game. Well... Definitely proved the use of Amphib on this, or at least as far as running against someone who's firing off a lot of Rockos into your Grizzlies goes. Bit of a surprising turn of events, but it worked out, so well done, Rymark. I'll have another game for you guys in just a moment. It will be a game between Golda and Norm616. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in just a moment.